Welcome back to Houston Life. The Yellowstone universe continues to grow thanks to its new spin-off prequel, 1923, which recently broke viewing records on Paramount+. Plus. And a local actress is part of the successful Western drama. Amelia Rico is from San Antonio, studied in Houston, and she is back once again on Houston Life. Amelia, welcome back to the show. It's great to see you. Hi, and your husband and manager who's also here. Okay, you've got a great credit list to refresh our viewers' memories. ABC's Grey's Anatomy, Walker on CW, Netflix's Mo, the AMC thriller Dark Winds. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you landed this recurring role on Yellowstone. Well, um, what's on 1923? 1923. <laughs> okay, okay. I was on Yellowstone, actually, uh, season three of Yellowstone, and um, I got to work on that, which was really exciting because we got to um, really put forth uh, the MMIW situation and, and put that into a spotlight so people could kind of um, see that. That, that issue and then they had me audition again for 1923 and uh, repeat I'm not playing the same character of course because these are like <laughs> going back in time right yeah these are 100 <laughs> years apart here um, but you know I, I don't know if uh, Taylor is thinking this but in my own backstory as an actor I, I'm putting myself as an ancestor to my character in Yellowstone and you're speaking about Taylor Sheridan Taylor the Sheridan. creator of the show let's talk so a lot of people that are fans of Yellowstone they realize that they do have this prequel why don't you tell us a little bit about what 1923 is all about. So 1923 is continuing the story of the Dutton. So we had we went all the way back to 1883 in the first short series, and then now we're in 1923, and we're we're talking about the children that were in 1883. Now they're grown and taken over the Yellowstone. But this is, of course, before Kevin Costner comes into play. <laughs> okay. um, but and then we also have the story which where I come in is of the Native American characters. So we have. Um, we're in the Crow Nation uh, here in this one, and um, we're talking about the the residential school system, uh, which was prevalent all the way up until the 90s, actually, uh, where they would take indigenous children out of their homes uh, forcefully oftentimes and then try to convert them to Christianity or Catholicism, depending on the, the church that was running the school. And so I'm here as a grandmother of a child who has been taken Taken. And I'm, of course, trying to get her back, doing everything I can. Uh, but they're they're putting all kinds of red tape, all kinds of, um, you know, just bureaucratic nonsense in front of me as obstacles. And, you know, I'm, I'm very determined. And, and, you know, Taylor Sheridan, if there's one thing about him, he does not... Uh, ever have any weak women in his shows. That's right. So that, that was very important to him that um, that she's determined and, you know, she's not lost or anything. So you, if you see that that part where I'm walking up, you know, they're like, make sure it's like a determined walk here. You know where you're going and you know what you're there for. Well, and what a very important and powerful storyline. Absolutely. New episodes, I know, are dropping on February 5th. Uh, we got to talk about the premiere you just attended in Las Vegas yes. in uh, December just last month. I understand you rubbed elbows with a few stars there. I did. <laughs> that's that's me and Helen. Oh my God, she was such a blessing. Um, and, and Harrison, of course, he was so excited to have me there. I, uh, My husband, Art, who's here, uh, said he noticed Harrison noticing me, I think because my, my, you know, my ear cuffs are very eye-catching, so he kind of <laughs> saw me from across the room, and he just, I was talking to Timothy Dalton at the time, my husband was like, get over here, <laughs> Harrison's how, looking at you, let's go talk to him. How amazing is that? Did you ever, <laughs> as a young girl, think that you would be besties with Harrison? I'm going to go ahead and say besties with Harrison Ford right Harrison there. Harrison and, and, <laughs> and Helen, yes. Um, yeah, they were both very lovely to talk to. I actually, we had a long conversation um, with Harrison and and we had a lot of touching moments actually my, my husband had had a very touching moment with him uh, as is his um, childhood hero <laughs> and um, with Helen she was so excited to have me there as well and she was like looking at my earring like my ear cup trying to figure out how it went into my ear how it you know was on me and um, yeah that was really exciting I never expected that to happen so uh, it's a blessing to be and I'm full of gratitude to be able to have been able to be there a pinch me moment I'm sure yeah. you belong there with yes. uh, yeah. those those folks on that red carpet. We're out of time, but in addition to 1923, other projects on the horizon for you, Amelia? You know, there's a lot of things cooking. I can't really talk a lot about them, but um, we also have our, our production company, Ricornell Productions, and we're always working locally with local talent as well. 
Well, it's fantastic mm -hmm. to uh, shine a spotlight on others. Amelia, we always love having you here on Houston Wonderful. Life. We'll see you on TV. Yes. All yes. Right. I'm a fangirl every time I watch now. <laughs> Don't faint, Lauren. It's okay. <laughs> a reminder, by the way, that brand new episodes of 1923 will air starting Sunday, February 5th on Paramount+. Plus.